Plus, I'm Common Fossil, and today continuing the series on the Pokemon TCG Live Economy, as well as an overview of the different aspects of Live, because the economy is kind of tied into just about every aspect of Live. So today, I'm going to take a look at the deck builder, as well as uh, crafting cards, because it's within the deck builder that we craft cards. Uh, there is no collections tab, as you're probably aware of by now. If you want to view your cards in your collection, you have to come into Deck Builder. That's the way it works, and this is where we craft them. So uh, within the, to make a new deck, uh, we click Create a Deck, and you have two options, Create from Scratch, which I'll show next, but you can also Import, which is a very nice option. And I'm gonna, I have a, a deck list in the clipboard, I, which I got from Limitless. That's a good website that shows tournaments, both IRL and online, as well with deck lists. And then on videos of your favorite content creators, including from uh, this, my videos uh, by Uncommon Fossil. Um, you, after, in the description, I, I always include the deck list, as do a lot of other content creators. So you can copy those, and then you click the import tab tab and it imports the deck list. We have our energies, trainers, and Pokemon. You will see that some of the cards are shown as not as, as you can't play because it wants four copies and I only own two copies. This is not own two copies. But so you could go ahead and exchange craft for 80 uh, credits, but I don't need to do that. This is what you want to be aware of. Don't craft cards unnecessarily as a budget player. Like it's nice to have matching arts. I definitely agree with that but I don't want to waste my resources. So what you can do is add copies of, if I have an alternate art, I can add that in instead, okay? By default, it does whatever art um, the original deck list has. So in a lot of times for the trainers, this one I own all the trainers, but if it's like a secret Ray or Super Bowl, for instance, I probably don't own four copies of that. So you just come in and you'll see the cards and you can select the art you, you need. I will show you with the Pokemon what you have to do. Now, the, there's already four copies of Gold Dink Gimme Ghoul, so once I, I, I select the art I want to add, but I can't add the plus button's not there because I already have four copies in deck, so I have to go back to the art that's in deck, and I don't own two copies, so I will drop two copies of that art, go back to the see what's available, and I'm going to add in the, the fancy art, and I will add two copies of that. So now I'm back to... It shows me just the one art of the Gimme Ghoul, but I have four copies. It's, it, they're all the same card in terms of what they do. It, when I'm in the gameplay, I will see the different arts uh, at different times, so that's fine. And then I do the same thing for the Gold Dingo EX. So again, there's four copies. I can't add a different art now because I have four copies, but you know, I have three copies of this fancy art, the alternate art, so I like that one better. So I could just drop one copy and there's add one copy of the fancy, but I know I have three copies of the fancy art, so I'm going to drop down to one copy of the Gimme Ghoul, this Gimme Ghoul EX, and add three copies of the secret rare art, and now this deck list is good to go. You, you give the deck list a name, it says new deck by default, you click on this little type in the name you want it to be, I can't spell... You know, I've misspelled, un Uncommon should have two M's if you're on a spelling test, but for, for this, uh, my YouTube name, it is one M, and then you change what the deck customation, deck boxes, sleeves, and coins, and this is, you can show just what you own if you want, because or you can show all of them, and if you want to get a deck box you don't own, it shows you the cost in coins. You can click on it to exchange for it. And the coins are only good for cosmetics. I've talked about in other videos. So feel free to buy deck boxes and sleeves and such that you want. You're not going to lose out on, the, on access to cards. So once we have it, we, um, the deck is all set. And if you want to make it active, we click the Set Active button. It takes you to play the game. But we don't want to play with the deck now. In fact, I'm going to delete it before we're done here, but I want to show you the other way to make a deck and talk a little bit more about crafting and when you should craft a card or not. So let's say we're building a deck from scratch. I'm going to, um, let's see, I want to play uh, Mew EX. So anyway, within the deck builder, you want to see all cards, not just what you own necessarily. If you're building a standard deck, you do it through here with standards, you can click to expand if you want to build an expanded deck. 
the better way to do it is actually go into the screen where you would play from Expanded and click the deck builder there. It just works a little more smoothly for you. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below and I can answer that. Some different options for screening here. Um, you can mess around with it for, to figure out what it is. Again, if you have questions about what's uses of things, let me know in the comments below. But we have the cards. There's 22,280 Pokemon cards to choose from. I don't want to have to scroll through the list to find my, my Pokemon, so I will type something in here. And if I just want to do a Mew deck, let's say, Mew uh, VMAX, right? So Mew V. I, it shows me the Mew V, Mew V Max. There's only one type of each card, but there's different arts of it, right? So I have a full playset, so I could just go, okay, one, two, three, four of you, and one, two, three, four of you. Now, let's say you didn't have a full playset of Mew. What would you do? Um, I'm going to come back to here on the Mew V, because, uh, for instance, I don't have a full playset of this art, so I could I could I could exchange it. There's two ways to get Mew V. You can either buy the League Battle deck, you could buy packs, right, from like uh, one of the, the the sets it came from, or you could exchange for it. That you do not don't just buy random packs hoping to pull the card. That's not going to treat you well. You're going to burn a lot of resources that way. Uh, for a card like Mew V Max, since it has a League Battle deck, that might be the best way to go. But for most cards, you just want to craft the card directly. In fact, let me not use Mew because first, you probably already have it, and there is a League Battle deck that is a good way to do it. But when I did, so I want some more, just skip of, I, will, I want this Absol, and I want four copies of this Absol in a deck. I don't know why I do, but let's say I do. I go one, two, three, four. Once I got to the second copy, I can't play it because I don't own it. So then what you do is you simply click exchange. It tells you the cost. If, if you For this, I'm exchanging all three cards for 1,275 credits. That's 425 credits a piece since it is a... Um, a rare, and it, it's, I guess, a hollow rare at that. And But I'm the, I don't want to exchange it now. Sometimes you'll take a look and see if there's a different art that is cheaper. Um, in fact, let, let's see if that's the case here. So if I do this one, I'll put... I don't own any of them. The, co the price is the same, so it doesn't save anything. But you can always check between different arts if one's cheaper or not. So, uh, and, 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 you know, if you don't care about visually as much, but the resources, buy the cheapest one. It'll tell you what it costs to do it. Don't be afraid to have mismatched arts like I did with the Gold Dingo deck. Um, it, you know, it's not quite as nice, I grant you that, but in terms of gameplay, it's just as, just as fine. It stacks them up and all that. So, like, let's say, like, I really like Volpix with Arceus. V-Star is good. And let's say I want a third copy now. You know, you just come in here, and you first I can just exchange one if I want to, buy one. But don't do, you know, you would put in the two copies in the deck. I'm all set to go. I put a third copy in, not enough to go. Click exchange, tells me the price, and I say go ahead. Okay, I'm not going to, you click the confirm exchange. I don't want, I don't need a third copy, so I'm not going to do that. And, and you go through the deck builder that way. So you're going to exchange cards that you need if you need your antique old amber uh, cards, you know, you can exchange for more copies. If you want the different art, you can exchange for that as well. But first, I would say, budget player, use the cards and the arts you have. And if you have to mix and match arts, go ahead. It doesn't really matter um, for that at the end of the day. So um, that's kind of the overview of the deck builder. This is where you exchange for cards. It is within... The, it's it's within the deck builder itself. So, like, if I wanted camping gear, I would put in these two copies of this. If I want four copies, I'd put in one copy of this alternate art. Um, and it's a hundred. It doesn't matter which art I exchange for. They're both a hundred, whether it's what is it a reverse or not. So you can pick whichever art you want for to, to craft in that click case, um, and you would just exchange for the fourth copy. Yeah, and you click it there. So it's pretty straightforward. Again, the first uh, currencies, coins, crystals, and credits. We'll talk about how to use 
uh, crystals in another video that you use in the shop. And, and, and there are better and worse ways to use that as well. And we'll talk about how to get resources through the battle pass and such in other videos. But the deck builder is obviously one of the key points of Pokemon TCG Live. You build decks so you can play them and um, to get the card in within it. That is where you craft cards that you don't own. Uh, certain, like these world's promos, are unexchangeable, so you can't get that, so that I will never play. That is what it is. But for other cards, you know, you have different copies, different arts. Pick what you want. You can craft. If you really want the fancy arts, go ahead and get it. Here, if I want to exchange it, it's 1,600. But, you know, as a budget player, I already have a full play set of this art. So just go ahead, from my standpoint, use the copycats you have, and you're going to get a lot far. You're going to have access to a lot more cards when the day is done. So hopefully this is helpful. The deck builder, very basic part of live. It's fairly straightforward, I think. I believe live said they're going to do some updates to it in the future. So if things change with it, I will try to let you, let you know what those changes are and how to make best use of them. I think the deck builder, from my stamp, from my personal opinion, is not quite, is not as good as the PTCG01. There's features that's missing that I hope they add to it, but it is okay, is what I'll say. And you know, I, we get by with it. So um, again, hopefully you have a. We're getting towards the, you know, we're early in the new year, so have a good year playing Pokemon. Take care.